Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a car vlog. Um, I'm actually doing a, a day with me vlog thing. I don't know, but not really. I don't know what I'm doing with that vlog, but I'm recording with the camera. The camera is here. But um, today I wanted to talk to you a little bit before I go to work because I wanted to upload this video first and talk about the last few, the last few days. And... I don't know because I want to do some so many different things you know like I do want to do like real vlogs where I take you with me to places but I'm so shy bitch and yesterday you know I wasn't as shy because it was basically just me and that's it it wasn't like a lot of people and I think that's my issue that I feel like there's a lot of people like around me and I feel so shy but I shouldn't be shy because I shouldn't care what they think or what they are going if they're judging or anything you know and I'm not a judgmental person so I don't know why like I have those thoughts that people are judging me when I know that I'm not the center of the universe I am the center of my own universe but maybe that's why because I cannot comprehend that other people have other thoughts other than me because you guys know that I'm very self-centered I'm obsessed with my hair. <laughs> like you guys know, I have no idea. I'm obsessed with my hair. Um, but to be honest, I need to get a mousse for when I curl my hair because you guys saw that my hair, my curl, like they didn't last at all. I need to get a mousse. I also have to get um a purple shampoo. Kelly said that I should get like a purple shampoo. Um, yesterday's vlog, and I think I'm gonna get that. But I'm, I have to like move around things that I want to get. So I'm gonna convince my boyfriend to get it for me. Guys, I'm not spending any money. I need to get a new concealer. So let's talk about makeup now. I I'm, I judge everyone that comes out of Starbucks. I will judge you. You guys are disgusting through everything. Like, I'm definitely going to judge you if you get Starbucks. Okay. So, <laughs> so um, I need to get a purple shampoo. And apparently that all purple shampoo are the same. So... I need to figure out what purple shampoo I need to get. And apparently purple shampoo can be very drying to the hair. But it doesn't matter because I'm already buying two masks and two treatments for the hair. Because um, you guys know what I have going on. And since this morning, like my ends are a lot better. They're not like, they don't look as fried as they did yesterday, but it's because I'm oiling my hair. And now that I'm gonna go to work, bitch, I'm about to like literally like go to the hair um thing and like treat the fuck out of my hair. Also, a new brand dropped on my thing. So I'm gonna be representing another brand. And this brand, I don't actually generally don't love it. I actually, because, and I'm going to tell you why I don't love it. The CEO of this brand is such a cunt. It's the R. Um, and not in, like, a good way. Because, you know, like, you can be very cunty in, like, a different way. Like, really good, like, like, a, like a good cunt, you know? I don't know if I can say this on YouTube. So I, don't have, I have to blur that shit out. But you can be, like, a good um see you next tuesday but this person apparently is not like he's not apparently like i've seen things that they've said and it's like i don't like privileged people that are you know i love privileged people i feel like privileged people are amazing in a lot of different ways because you know they they give us a different perspective of the world so i like to listen to privileged people speak and i'm gonna tell you why before you judge me i like to listen to privileged people talk or like giving conversation or like take a different take that i do or like other people or like society wants you to take because they have different perspective because of how privileged they are and it makes me look at things a little bit different into like a different perspective you know so i like i like some privileged people like i really do but there are privileged people that are like beyond to the point that it's like you're just like a, a horrible human being like you're not just like you're privileged but it's but you're just a horrible like that doesn't even matter i don't care that you're privileged or not you're just a horrible human being privileged or not so that's what they are they're a horrible human being i don't like their as a person i don't know they're in real life honestly so like i cannot say I want to go get a perm and like have this pieces just stay like this and like that. 
you know, like this. <laughs> wow, it looks so good. <laughs> Bitch, I look so good. Um, anywho, I don't like privileged people that are see you next Tuesday vibes, you know. And you guys know that I'm the kind of the kind of part, I'm the kind of person that I don't have like a lot of like I do have a lot of takes, but I do have a sense of humanity like i'm very grounded i'm a very grounded person and after the eclipse happened i'm just finding myself like i feel like a new sense of me like i'm just I, i'm changing completely in like a good different light i don't know what it is but i was just like manifesting greatness for myself um and i feel greatness and i don't know if it's placebo but i don't think it's placebo i think it's just me i feel like my energy has shifted to like a whole different dimension and when i first learned about this person i mean about this brand me being represented i was like okay whatever like no big deal but now that it's actually happening and after the eclipse i was thinking about it i'm like oh my god no like i'm not okay with it i mean I'm, i don't mind doing it because to be honest at the same time like a business is business or whatever and like you know unfortunately i have to survive somehow and I, i'm not in a position to like decline unless i unless i quit and i need to put food on my table and i'm not in a position where i can pick and choose you know and that's why i'm a little upset because i cannot choose but you guys see that i'm not radiating hateness i'm radiating me because i'm just a, a full of love individual but i wanted to say to you that i don't know i don't even know why i'm telling all of this to you you guys see like this is why like i need to talk to people because I, I i literally have no friends Also, I'm changing my toothpaste. Um, I used to use this brand name called Boca, B O S K A, Boca, B O K A, like Boca doesn't like mouth. And I didn't love that it didn't lather, if that makes sense. Like I just didn't love that. But I need, I need to train myself back to like, like no, like your toothpaste doesn't have to lather. Like that is just, like. Things to be clean doesn't have to lather like you know what i mean i need to retrain myself to that and i think i'm more ready now than how i was when i made that change of the toothpaste back in 2020 when i changed to that toothpaste i didn't appreciate it so i don't know i am also i'm gonna i'm gonna i, I want to get like mouth tape and i think i'm just gonna go to the pharmacy and get like um uh doctor uh surgery gray tape or something like that because i don't want to be a mouth breeder anymore oh that was nasty one of my pet beef is seeing people like digging food out of their teeth like in public with their mouth like ill disgusting that is oh my god that is so gross fuck i have a dress that had to return to nordstrom rack and i um forgot it yes i'm returning it because my boyfriend was like i don't like how that dress look on you you look like an old lady but i love looking like an old lady guys okay so that's like the vibe that i love i love looking like an old lady but i decided to return that because he hated it but because i felt like stuff like i'm not skinny enough for that dress unfortunately so if i ever were to wear it, i will feel very uncomfortable and i'm in my era where like i do not want to feel uncomfortable with my clothing i want to wear my clothing and my clothing wear wearing me and i'm so happy oh I'm, I'm so happy that i'm talking to you about this now because i have donated 80 percent of my closet like i literally only have like three of two of those four of these this jacket i have to go through all of my jackets because i still have all of my jackets but i am going through a change i don't know why i'm like changing like this oh my god what the hell i feel like i'm peeing myself i'm so sorry tmi tmi but you know what it's okay because it's my diary so i can say whatever i want where's the lip i need to get more of the lip right here i think i'm gonna this is gonna be my lip today because everything else i don't know if i like so much you know oh i'm doing a haul <laughs> you don't know what this is after i finish my haul but i need to like get a couple of things from sephora so I can like show you my haul with a gift card. And after that, I don't think I'm gonna show Sephora anymore. Cause you guys know that I don't support LVMH. And Sephora is owned by LVMH. And 
and I'm like working because you guys are not going to stop consuming because you guys only care about yourselves in that aspect you see you guys need to be like me I am very self-centered but I care about humanity bitch not unlike, unlike you you want to be like oh my god I'm not self-centered I'm so selfless but you only care about yourself bitch and that is the truth oh my god I think I love this color more than the orange color this is like the pumpkin color you guys are gonna know tomorrow because I'm uploading the book tomorrow Oh my god, but wow, this looks so good. <laughs> anyway, so I got rid of, um, I need to get a concealer, but I'm not gonna get it now. I'm gonna get it probably when I order stuff from my kit on Namie's because that's where I guess like 40% of Huda Beauty and it's a Huda Beauty concealer that I want actually. Because <laughs> the one that I, Cause you know how like this color, I cannot look to. If I look, if I do something lighter than this, this is me attempting to do like a lighter look. I cannot do any. If I do lighter than this, I will look like washed out, you know. So I want to be very, very tan. So I need to get a darker concealer because the one that I have is too light. I have two that I bought a couple of months ago. Well, they're too light, and I cannot use them anymore because it doesn't look like me. It looks like I want to be lighter than I am, and you guys know that I'm like I like darker than this that's me like i like to look really dark and like first for in the winter like i did want it to like be brighter as in like not like look light like oh my god like she's white and i like that but like i wanted my like my complexion to look brighter not whiter brighter because sometimes the brighter look is like more prettier you know and you can do tan but bright like for example my look today is very tan but it's bright it's not like oh like she's like super dark every you know like for example if i turn like this you would never know that i'm bronze or contour you see like it looks like it's very natural that's what i like now and i back when i bought the the, the hooded concealers that were later like i didn't that didn't register to me until like literally now not now but like recently so i need a concealer that matches my skin tone perfectly which means that i need it darker than me because my skin tone without makeup is not my real skin tone that is just like the cast this is my real skin tone okay this golden so i look golden like i love looking golden like you guys don't get it like you guys don't get it my skin tone is very golden to me and you guys know that i'm very olive as well and that's a whole another thing on its own like all of like when you're very olive it's really hard to find things that look good on you like for example you see i would never think that this would look good on me but look at how good it looks but i think it's because of the hair i will show you why yeah it's the hair that's making me look more golden and i love looking golden and that's what i wanted like i've always wanted this golden look you see like i wanted to look gold like gold does my jewelry look good too I think I need to get silver jewelry now because <laughs> so much gold is not going to be good for me. <laughs> Are you guys tired of me? Tell me the truth. The fuck? Oh, this is hair dye. So the other day, I dyed my grandma's hair and all the dye is here. Anyway, I don't know, guys. Like, I'm just changing. I'm shifting to a whole different, completely different person. I am in my, like, literally, I cannot wait to work out and i cannot wait to um oh my god they gave me shampoo samples okay apparently like japanese hair care is like one of the best hair care which is why i love japanese hair care i actually the shampoo that the conditioner that i'm getting soon um that i'm buying on saturday my boyfriend is gonna take me to kop to go get it um it's from a japanese brand and it's actually really fucking expensive i don't want to tell you what it is yet because it's so expensive but i need it like my hair is so damaged right now guys like you guys don't get it and i'm gonna use my gift you guys think that i'm like lying like i really don't have my gift cards like i have my, my gift cards are like making me like i probably have like 500 dollars worth of gift cards i'm not even kidding here are two of them two gift cards 
these ones are loaded i think these are the ones that have the most money and these are the ones probably that i need for today oh he thought that he was gonna give me a ticket <laughs> look at him look at him he's gonna come now that one there he thought he was gonna give me a ticket but like um anyway so i cannot wait for you to see that vlog tomorrow of me giving you like a little haul of all of these things i literally just recorded it like two a few minutes ago before this and i didn't want to go into the floor i was going to go in first and shop and then you know shop now and like shop now essentially because but i'm not going to do that i'm just going to shop and i have to get a gift for my i have to get a gift for my boyfriend's mom too but my boyfriend is like buying that not me i'm not buying that so i'm using his credit card for that maybe i should like buy a couple of things for myself with his credit card oh look there's another gift card here oh my god i have like three gift cards but again i probably have to use guys you guys don't get it like i'm literally like gift card rich but that means that i'm spending i'm not spending my money oh my god i put it away Ugh, where is it because this lip looks so good like it looks like me oh my god it looks so good okay i just want to look attractive because you know like for example when i go shopping if i were to go i don't go to the apartment store because you know i cannot afford i think i can actually afford it i just choose not to buy okay <laughs> i'm kidding i'm just not like i'm not okay i don't go to the apartment store because i feel like i'm not the kind of person that i like to pretend that i'm rich okay like i've never been the kind of person like i'm not the kind of person i do not pretend that i'm rich i just don't buy it if i cannot afford it i won't look for it if i wanted to see it in person i'll go but i do not i do not require any attention like if i don't have any okay so this is the kind of shopper that i am if i go if i go in to your store and i am looking to buy i will ask for help if i'm only browsing i will always refuse the help because i hate wasting people's time because if you were to help me when i know that i'm not purchasing anything when i know that whatever doesn't matter what you do i'm going to say i'm not purchasing shit i'm to be take i'm going to be wasting your time and i'm going to be taking time away from somebody that you probably make a lot of money from you know what i mean so like i just not like to i'm not that way so when i go to the apartment store or like any store that requires me to get some type of help and um i just like and then you know like i find people that are pretty and i you know if I, I find people that are pretty like if you're pretty i'm buying from you if you're older i'm buying from you if you are the old like if it's if it's like if it's if you're a young um person and you and I see people that are bullying you, like the other employees, I'm buying from you. Like, I'm the kind of person that I buy from people that I know that are going to get a commission and are going to appreciate it. I don't like buying from, like, little bitches. And I feel like I have a good um, sense of... Fuck, I forgot. I forgot what I needed. Whatever. I buy from people that I like, okay? I buy from people that I like. I buy from people that I see that like that are actually like good people, okay? I don't buy from just anybody. I will go do my swirl and buy from people that I know that will appreciate my sale, not from like little bitches like you. Anyway, so <sighs> I like to look pretty whenever I work, you know, at least my makeup to look pretty. Sometimes my hair looks a mess, but you guys know that I was waiting for disappointment for a long time. So now I'm going to work on my appearance, okay? So I'm going to start working out and doing all that stuff that I need to do. Oh my god, I'm judging so hard. I'm such a... I'm going to judge. I'm judging. Always judging. Okay, guys, I need to go. Um, I need to go back. I need to go. I actually need to go to work. But I'll see you guys tomorrow. And I cannot wait for you to see my haul tomorrow. Bye.